particularly interested in is <coughs> whether there's any opportunity to put in new river access uh, to take the place of a recent river access that was closed to us on the Arapaho River at Hopkins Landing near Naylor. Um, I understand there's some, some land near the near the bridge across the Arapaho River there that might be amenable for a boat ramp or a county park or something like that. And is there any any uh, thoughts of doing that in your five-year plan or? It, yeah, as a earlier we are looking to expand our, our boat ramps um, or access points if you will so to, to, to say it's at this specific place I, you know I can't state you know the different current areas that we are looking for but we do we are searching actively for some alternatives there to um, to try and meet that need so um, if that answers your question and then is, would, would you have any interest if we had, you know, a regional trail in mind and we're working with other counties? Absolutely. Would you be interested in working with that to try to create a system that might connect up with Florida's Absolutely. water system? We, we, that, and, and that's one of the things that when we're looking at our, our you know, one of the things that was, was brought out in our planning process about a year ago with the master plan was, you know, connecting site, you know, sites, and it was mentioned a regional, possibly a regional system, and, and I've worked, some of the experiences I've had with, with the North Carolina Coastal Land Trust, we were able to get um, a 911 acre tract of land on a, on a pristine Black River um, that connected into New Hanover County, and there was different access points along the way, so working with conservancy, different groups, and, and trying to protect that, it was called the Town Creek River. Um, and it was multi counties so and there were cities involved as well so looking at trying to um, connect not only the blue way if you will expanding that but we're also looking to try to expand a, a greenway system as well whether it's rails to trails things of that and I you know from that standpoint so we are actively trying to see those type quality of life in, in, in our community. Everybody's being modest tonight. Uh, other organizations in Lowndes County talk about bringing in jobs and business. Burns and Rec and George Page have done it with these baseball and softball tournaments. That's brought in a lot of business while other people are just talking. The other thing, Fred is also modest. Uh, Walls is also does sports, not on your scale, actually, but everything on the state park. Um, Fred was principal organizer, many other people here and else others helped, but, but the uh, first big Little River paddle race, uh, we got about 30, 28, just 20, 27. 27 boats. 27 boats. And uh, like I said, it's not on your scale, but for the first ever in Green Bay State Park, mm -hmm. it's a start. We'd and like to see it grow. Um, I have some family up in New England that helps organize the New England Down River Series, which is a series of 10 paddle events throughout New England, and they'll bring in 250, 300 paddlers for one of their events. And they've been doing it a lot longer, but I would like to see something like that maybe evolve in the South Georgia, because our paddling season is very different from their paddling season, and you can potentially get some of those northerners that want to get away from the cold and, and, and uh, get some paddling in early in the season and coming down here. Just, just a thought. Certainly, that, that's good. Well, maybe we had a route that started in another county but ended in Lowndes County. That one of the things, as you, as you know, when you look at, and I, I can't speak for, as you know, other cities or counties, and what, from a standpoint of funding, what they can or will be willing to do to add those things and say a barrier or a tip or, 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 or different counties, um, I do know that there are grants out there. There are different things that we can look at that, that maybe could, when, when you're looking at, I will tell you, one of the things I think it's, you know, it, it's much harder today to tap into federal funds, grant funds from, from, from Washington. You know, we were up on the Land Water Conservation Fund, LWCF had some really, in many parks, not only 
city and county parks, but state parks, and all you know, national parks have really benefited from LWCF. Um, and and LWCF just does not cover you know um, your greenways, blueways. For instance, when I came from Whitfield County, we wrote a hundred thousand dollar grant for Wade Miracle Field. LWCF, it's a matching grant. To Miracle Field is an all accessible handicap field, and we are going to be building one of those in Lowndes County here soon, so stay tuned to that. But one of the things that I think really helps strengthen an application, if you are collaborating and you are partnering, whether it's a regional, whether it's a greenway, or if it's a you know, or blue way. If, if there is that collaborative effort and there's that partnering from a two or a three or a four county area, let's just say that can strengthen that because it sees, you know, first and foremost, the people that are up there that we elect in Washington, that they see three or four counties in their district working together to try to, to enhance the quality of life um, from the standpoint of the trail. So, you know, if that is that is something, but it, it could be, it could happen. It could, that makes if you're looking for federal funds to try to, to enhance your, your roadway, if you will. But, you know, we are, we see it as a, one of our priorities of enhancing what we currently do. So.